Welcome back to Charmist. Today we are doing a Q&A with questions from you guys. So let's get right into it. First question is from Faye on Twitter. And they said, are we filming as we speak? We are, it's officially Charmist time. Next question is from Lisa on Twitter. And they said, what's something I have been obsessed with recently? I haven't been doing much recently, but I've been really into taking notes and like the colorful pens. That's just like my favorite thing. And it makes everything so organized. This one's from Gisa. Where do I get most of my Christmas sweaters from? So I get a lot of my sweaters from Target or Walmart, Amazon. I don't know where this one's from, but you can find really cute ones like a lot of places. And then now I just have a collection at this point. This one is from Ray. What was your most streamed song this year? Let's go to the Spotify wrapped. It was Getting Older by Billie Eilish. Great song listen to it a lot. Next one is from Courtney. What's your comfort food you always eat? I'm a big snacker and I feel like a lot of goldfish or popsicles. Those are like my two favorite snack foods. Next question is from Laura. Favorite Christmas movie? My favorite Christmas movie for years has been The Grinch. I just think it's the best movie in the world and I love it. This one is from Shelby. What is my favorite project that I've done this year? There's been a few. I think there's been Born Dreamer that launched this year. There was Dancing with the Stars that was huge. The new social tourist drops have been very exciting. There was a lot of really great things that happened that I'm proud of and I'm very lucky to be able to say that. So yeah. Next question is from Vic. Long or short hair? I'm always going to love long hair on myself. My hair just doesn't grow very fast. So it's Normally I had extensions in, but when I was doing Dancing with the Stars, my hair was back so much that I didn't really need them. And I just haven't had a chance to get them back in. So we're rocking with my natural hair. Next question is from Courtney. What's my favorite song? I feel like what I've been listening to recently, ooh, that's tough. Maybe, I actually don't know. I haven't really like sat down and listened to music in a bit. So I don't have an answer for that one. Next. What is on my Christmas list? I haven't made a Christmas list. There's not really anything that I have seen recently that I'm like, oh my goodness, I really want that. Yeah, I don't know. Next question. Of your friends, who would you never live with and why? I could probably never live with who? What do we think? I feel like I could, I could live with all my friends. I'm very, you know, like I stay in my room a lot. So I'd be able to live with anyone. I don't do much. This question is from Mia. What is one word that explains how you felt when you would perform in Dancing with the Stars? I think for me, I was almost like blacked out when I performed, you know, like there was nothing going through my head. So I guess maybe just like in the moment. This question is from Dylan. What are my top five moments from this year? I would say my birthday. Dancing with the Stars, One Born Dreamer launched. What else has happened this year? I'm like, I don't even know. Let's see. Oh, prom. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe when I went to Italy, that was really fun. I don't know, there's so many moments from this year that, this, that was like incredible. This one is from Sab, best memory from Dancing with the Stars. I would say my best memory from Dancing with the Stars was probably getting to hang out with all of the other couples because that was really fun for me there were so many amazing moments i couldn't i couldn't pick a best memory you know this one is from abby is there anything you did this year that you wish you didn't do i would say no i think i've had a very fun productive year a lot of things happened a lot of really great things and each thing that happened led to the next so very, very happy with everything this year. This next question is from Rebecca. Would you want to do something different with your hair? And if so, what? Probably want to get my extensions back and go like a shade darker, maybe. Maybe get the bangs back, like the little side bangs that I had. This is from Charles E. How did it feel to win a streamy? That was really fun because I was not prepared and 
when it's just like on the spot it's so nerve-wracking but it was like such a great feeling because I knew I was there to present and I was nominated but I didn't think that I would have won so it was really great and I'm glad it was for the lifestyle category because I feel like that's something that I love sharing with you guys so it was really exciting to hear that you know you guys like to pack next question is from Lisa is it fun living with Dixie now it is fun living with Dixie you know she's not home right now so it's just me and the pup and we have a lot of fun together you know lots of like good fun times where we just get to hang out together so it's really nice is there any type of scent that reminds you of christmas candles in general or like that winter smell it's so like you smell it so much back in connecticut i don't really smell it here but like pine trees whatever but i got a bunch of candles they were supposed to be here right now i'm not here yet but i got some candles that'll hopefully like remind me of home the last song i played the last song I played was Highlights by Alex Warren. Next question is from Lily. What's my favorite nickname? Honestly, a lot of people call me Charlie or Char, which is like, it's cute sometimes. Like when it's like from the heart, I don't know, I love that. I have a lot of nicknames and I listen to any name that starts with a CH, so not hard to get my attention. I have a lot of really fun nicknames. Next question, what's your favorite thing to wear in the winter time? Sweaters. I love sweaters. They're so comfy. Melissa asked, show us your favorite phone case. So I only have one. It's this one. It's pink. It's cute. I could probably get a like more fancy schmancy one, but I like this one. It's like durable. I don't have to worry about my phone breaking. I do want another one now because this one's like starting to fall apart a little bit. Ooh, Isabella asked, dream vacation. I feel like my dream vacation would be like maybe Bora Bora or going back to Italy or on a beach somewhere where there's just sun. What's my favorite emoji combo? I don't really use emojis that much other than like the heart emoji. So probably just a bunch of hearts. Lily asks, do I have a lucky number? I do, it's six and 11. Favorite snack at the moment? Goldfish, but the big version in the sharp cheddar flavor. They are so good. Literally could eat a whole bag in five seconds. Rick asked, what's my favorite fruit? I would say watermelon, pineapple, and apples, or peaches. What's my favorite makeup product? I would say, as of right now, my favorite makeup product is Patrick Ta Blush. Either of the like pink shades, it's a bright one and a, and a more laid back pink, both of those. Courtney asked, would I ever go back to any year? Yeah, I would want to relive high school and stress out less about the schoolwork and just have fun. I would not like to go back to any time before that. Maybe I would, I would go back to like when I was like five because <laughs> I had so much fun, not a care in the world. Gabby asked, does Rebel live with me? Yes, Rebel lives with me pretty much 24-7. She stayed at my parents' house while I was doing Dancing with the Stars because I didn't want to leave her here by herself. I wanted to make sure that she was properly taken care of and, you know, wasn't like alone all day. So for something like that, that was like three months, I would take her back every so often. But since I was gone most of the day, I had her stay with my parents and that just made me feel better. But now she's back with me full time. Lily asked, will the pink or blue hair ever make a comeback? Probably not because my hair was so fried after that. Like I'm still dealing with the repercussions of bleaching my hair. So it would take a while. Courtney asked, can we get a house tour of your new house? Probably not because it's not, like my room's not really decorated. There's nothing on the walls. Kind of like, I don't know, it's like a little lonely in there honestly because there's no like, color or anything. So I, you guys probably wouldn't even enjoy a house tour. If I could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? Nothing. I wouldn't change anything. Everything happens for a reason. Everything that has happened got me where I am today. And I love where I am today. Rebecca asked, have you ever went undercover as a fan page? I have not. I know you guys keep asking, or people 
like make it out to seem like a certain account is me, but I've never done that. Lisa asked, how many photos do I have in my camera roll? 106,794. Jeez. Courtney asked, do you normally look over the questions and how to answer them before you record? No, I'm scrolling right now to find questions. ECE asked, what do you mostly do in your free time? I watch a lot of TV. I like to just chill in my free time because normally when I'm doing stuff, I'm doing stuff, you know, from start to finish. So I like to just take time for myself, maybe do some self-care, you know, all that fun stuff. Natty asked, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I mean, if I have to, I can get it done in like five minutes and out the door. If I have some time, I'll like to shower, let my hair dry, you know, do my makeup, do my hair, all that stuff. That can take like two hours if I'm really like spending time with it. So yeah. Yeah. I think that's all the questions. Thank you guys for asking questions. I got all these questions off of Twitter. So very much appreciative of that and you guys for asking me things so I can do a Q&A. This is only one of the Charmus videos. There's still lots to come, so get ready. It's gonna be a fun one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.